Dear Linda Marshall, I hope you can settle a family argument. My husband has been complaining about the rough, harsh feel of our linens. I agree with him. I try to tell him that the only answer is to buy a good automatic clothes dryer. And that's when the argument starts. He says it must be the way I wash and wants to know what a clothes dryer can do that can't be done on the backyard clothesline. Well, I certainly sympathize with your problem. You'd be surprised how many people there are who don't know what goes into the proper drying of clothes. So let's start with a basic question. What is drying? Getting rid of moisture? Basically, yes. It's a process that's been going on as long as people have been washing clothes. To most people, drying means hanging wet clothes in a warm, open place. What you basically need for drying is a source of heat and a source of moving air. When these two factors act for a long enough time to remove the moisture, the article is generally considered to be dry. But many people, like your husband, are annoyed to find that the dried articles may be stiff, wrinkled, and harsh to the touch. They are over-dried. This means natural moisture has been removed. This is moisture that is not felt as dampness, but which must be retained if the fabric is to keep its natural feel of freshness. This drying out of natural moisture is what we call over-drying. This woman would have no way of controlling over-drying unless she could control the relative action of the sun and the air and know precisely when to take her clothes off the line. Automatic dryers added a tumbling action to the heat and moving air factors to greatly speed up the drying process. And what happens inside an automatic dryer? The wet clothes are first heated up. Then the temperature of the clothes levels off while moisture is being evaporated. As the clothes get dry, the temperature rises sharply again. This is the critical area for over-drying. Some dryers use thermostats to shut off the heat at some predetermined point on the curve. This would work fine if all loads were identical, but loads vary. Because wash and wear fabrics lose their moisture rapidly, the thermostat cutoff point is much higher. Heavy bath towels will follow this kind of curve, with still another cutoff point. The trouble is that different fabrics dry at different rates, and most loads are made up of mixed fabrics. Under these conditions, thermostats can't protect against over-drying because they simply depend on measuring the temperature of the air as it comes out of the dryer. What we must measure is the moisture in the fabric. Here at last is a dryer that actually measures the moisture in the clothes. Measures it with a newly developed electronic control. It's all done for you by these electronic sensing elements wrapped around each of the three baffles in the dryer drum. These elements continuously measure the amount of moisture in the fabric in order to shut off the dryer at precisely the right time. As long as damp articles touch the baffles, the dryer stays on. When the clothes are dry, they signal the dryer to shut off. Leaving the right amount of natural moisture, the right look and feel to the fabric. It's ready to store or ready for immediate use. Then there is a special wash and wear setting with an extra interval of heat to remove the wrinkles. And a damp dry setting where the electronic control senses the right degree of dampness for immediate ironing. It would be wonderful if our own fingers had the magic to sense the precise moment of proper dryness in fabrics. And if we had the time to spend while the clothes were drying. But since we don't, you'd better tell your husband about the ultimate answer to over-drying. A dryer with electronic control to measure the moisture in the clothes and give perfect results every time.